My name is Mitch Connor. For years, I've been trained under the infamous triad boss named Ming. Ming is the most wanted member of the triad. I've been working under him for as long as I can remember. While working under him, I've committed numerous killings as an assassin. With every death, I seem to lose a part of my soul. I wish I could stop, but I can't, or else Ming would kill me in an instant. Today, I have a new assignment, one that Ming says could change everything. I have an assignment for you today. You must kill this person, as he's been causing us a lot of trouble, as well as revealing our identities to the police. I know this person. Then it should be easy. You don't understand. This person is a good friend of mine. Which do you value more, your life or your friend? You know I can't choose. You have no choice. You know, you know what will happen if you refuse. I can't do it. Then you leave me no choice. After the death of Ming, I didn't know what to do. The life of an assassin was all that I knew, and I didn't know if I could return to normal life. One of the few people I knew on the outside ran a small paper company, and he offered me a small job in the warehouse doing manual labor because that was all I knew how to do. In three years, a lot has changed. I have forgotten the old ways of being an assassin and started a new life, a normal life. Who sent you? You and I were killed one. Just try me. Okay, okay. So, who sent you? A man named Ming. That's impossible. Ming's dead. No, you shot him in the eye, but now he's in the chemical and then he's out to seek revenge. So that's how it is. Where is he? He's in a lay outside of town in the forest, but nobody can ever get there. It's filled with booby traps. Then I'll just have to take my chances. As for you, the police will come and arrest you. Finally found you. That you have, and Christ, you made it here alive. After what you've done to me, you deserve to die. You wouldn't kill me. I'm the only one who's known you since you were a child. I raised you when you're an outcast, when no one took you in, but I did. I taught you everything. You wouldn't kill me. I'm like a father to you. A father would never kill a son. I made a mistake. Please forgive me. Sorry, I can't do that. A fake? Very well. I surrender. You may take me to jail now. Prison is too loud of a punishment for you. Very well, but you will regret it if you kill me. Yeah, right. <laughs> Who are you? Are you with me? I would put that down if I were you. I have lots of snipers in the trees with a sight set. I saw what you did to me. 
you have skill. Perhaps you would like to take his place as the leader of the triad. All that power. I don't know. Think of the rewards. I'm sorry. I don't want to turn into a maybe change. Fine. You're lost, my game. Now leave, or else you'll surely die. After the meeting incident, I began to realize how hard it was going to be to return to, return to normal life. While well, finally killing me made me feel better, deep inside, I feel that it made me worse than what I was before. From the incident, I learned to always be on my guard. I still do not know what a normal life is, but perhaps in time, I will. I still work at Scott's Paper Company, and I still remain at the same old apartment. I know that Ming's friends see me as a threat. I know that they will come after me to get me out of the picture. However, the power struggle over Ming's empire will go on for a long time. But, after they're done, they will come for me. Only time will tell when that happens. Only time will tell. Alright. <laughs> 